welcome back to Manchester. We're live this afternoon from Savannah's here in Whitefield, where after four matches, three seeds have been knocked out. So time to find out quarter-finalist number five. Welcoming first into the arena, another Scott. We've just had two tussling on this table. Now we've got another one. He calls himself the Bad Stag. It's Martin McIntosh. How did that girl even get in here? Do you see her? She's so short and that dress is so tacky. Who wears cheetah? It's not even summer. What? The DJ keep on playing summertime sadness. After the bathroom, can we go smoke a cigarette? I really need one. But first, let me take a selfie. Selfie, 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 selfie. Let me take a 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 selfie. And here we go, our fifth quarter-final between Martin McIntosh, you may have seen him before in the town shootout, and uh, a new one to us, Mick Folan. So uh, calls himself Galway's number one. A bit of a character on social media, I hear. Don't know an awful lot about him, but um, a confident character, to say the least. Not yeah. as confident as Martin wearing those <laughs> trousers. And those sunglasses. I think he'll need them in here. I think the sunglasses were for the trousers, maybe, but <laughs> he's had to take them off to break and he's come up dry. A fast start for Mick. The only seed to survive so far is uh, is the young man from from right here in Whitefield, Kian Monaghan. You see Mick Foley clearing up nicely, but he's got this problem area at the top of the table with him. The red next to the black wanted an angle, and he, and he hasn't got one on the on on the red that he's on now. And I think we're actually just going to see him play safe. It's a containing safety, but he's um, he may have tied the reds up. I don't think there's a no. And that's not a very good shot at all from McFarlane. Maybe a bit of early nerves. Apologies, by the way, to the Folan family for the Scotland flag. Not sure what that's doing there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get that changed, uh, corrected to the Irish flag straight away. Wonder if Martin McIntosh is, uh, has managed to hijack the uh, the IT system. Now we're going to see Martin try and cover this pocket. I think we are, but it's gone so in. Wouldn't have been. I think, I think he did want to just cover the pocket there and take control of that top left-hand corner pocket, but see another safety from from Martin. Very good shot. Very good shot. I think he's got the snooker, just about. A cagey opening frame. This fifth quarter final. It's a nice shot from from Mick. 
Yeah, decent escape. There's nothing going to be happening too quick at that. We'll no, that's the table. Another very good shot from basically exactly the same as shot as he played last time, but just that that inch tighter to the to the yellow, which again leaves him snookered, and uh, he's got out of it again. Mick Follen, he's hanging in there in this opening frame. Well, Mick Follen, up until a few years ago, was predominantly a, a, a snooker player. He's more like a, a snooker exchange. This it is. It's. Uh, Steve Davis-esque. Yeah. Yes, it's like Davis Ebden. <laughs> Thankfully, there's a shot clock. <laughs> I'm not sure Peter, Peter would thrive under a shot clock. Um, well, when the shot clock is your average shot duration, I think you're always going to be in trouble. Ronnie O'Sullivan used to hate playing Peter. Absolutely hated it. Still remember him with a towel over his head. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But that's what Peter did. Uh, don't forget, Peter is a former world champion. Oh, there's no fluke. And, 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 and it wasn't... I mean, he made other, other finals as well, didn't he, in the world championship? Yeah. So he was... He was um, I think just goes to show, with, with Q, especially Q sports, where you, you sat in your chair for a long, long periods of time, such a big, big part of the game is the psychological aspect of it and, and how you deal with, when you do go behind in matches, how you deal with different yeah. styles of player that don't suit you, um, don't play at your pace. You, know, you need to be an all-round player uh, to, 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 to be the very best. Yeah, and Ronnie will know that it's that mental side of the game that has stopped him winning every tournament that he's ever played in, otherwise he would have, tell him why, he would have done. Yeah, you can. Well, yeah, I think that's um, sort of a fairly, a fairly common opinion. Couldn't have a nil-nil, could we? Well, I was going to say. Meanwhile, <laughs> five minutes into this one, nothing really to write home about. No, but but Martin is slowly, slowly opening this frame up now. And um, it, he, he's probably only one shot away from. I mean, even after this, after this shot now, I think he probably is going to have have the chance, to, the opportunity to go for the game. I don't know if he can, if he can cut this yellow into the corner pocket. If he can, he can, he can go for the finish here. Yeah? Where's that going? If it goes in, which it has, it is a fluke. If he can get to the potting angle of the. Of the yellow, I'm not sure if he can. And he can go for the clearance here. Yeah, just about, but he's just going to have to play one delicate positional shot to to get onto the black off the. Uh, you can't just drop that yellow in in the top left-hand corner pocket because the red's in the way. It's the only thing that can go wrong here. I don't think he's got the best angle. He would have loved to have been able to screw up into the top half of the table. Would have been a lot easier, but still a, a confident Martin McIntosh should, shouldn't should really find this a, a problem, but mm. it's gone wrong. Well, I was just about to say all he needs is a bounce, and he didn't get one. So this now is tricky. What's he trying here? Well, he's trying to swerve in between the reds to pot the black, and he's ended up hitting the uh, the... the Second red full in the face. Yeah, and uh, it's not the best start for a self-proclaimed legend. <laughs> That's not the best shot either. Wanted to get that to the pocket. Yeah, that, was a, that was really careless, that. Yeah, we're going to see him just snooker. We're still on for the nil-nil. Yeah. Seven minutes gone. No, he's going to play it again. He's had his, his sighter. Oh, wow! Oh, yeah. oh, Martin McIntosh. Practice makes perfect. Wow. And with a trick shot. McIntosh puts the first frame out of his misery. And he's on the ball. What a shot. And that's why he's a self-proclaimed legend. What a shot. Hats off.
cannot stop smiling, and I don't, and I don't blame him. What a shot that was! Didn't have much area to work with as well. It wasn't like a long distance swerve. It was a really good shot. The the, the, cue, the cue was right up in the air. So the deadlock's broken. And, uh, right, McIntosh takes a one 0 lead. <coughs> Excuse me, and uh, Mick Foden's made a couple of balls off the break. The Reds look all, look fairly decent, to be honest. I don't think the yellows are too bad either. A good chance to get back into this. He's elected to go yellows. There's your shot again. Could not have played that any better. See, even the referee there says shot as he goes to set the balls back up. I think Martin's forgotten his socks as well. This is catching. Mm. I don't think there's any socks up in uh, Manchester. They've all <laughs> forgotten them. Well, that didn't go as planned. So back we go. Another one. Back we go, yeah, and it's... Um, it's advantage Martin really <coughs> after when you break down with two balls left it's, it's I mean Mickey's going to be second favourite for this frame now although well, he's given Martin a bit of work to do it's not it's not plain sailing for me the frame's still in the balance Well, that, that didn't go to plan, but um, it's worked out OK. That's not what he played. I think he was playing to push the yellow up to the table so it was snookered behind a wall of balls at the back of the table, but he'll take that. Oh, wow, what a <laughs> shot, Mick Foden. What a shot. How's he kept the white out? I know. You're going to need an even better one now. He hasn't, has he? Oh, unlucky. Oh. What an effort. What a clearance that would have been. <laughs> no smile, though. He's got his game face on. He wants this. He's going to be in a spot of bother here. Well, there's half a knuckle and a couple of reds in the way. Be another side cushion escape. Surely you can't make this. You, you take just a hit, and it slid there. Well, he spent most, it seems, of the first ten minutes of this match trying to escape snookers. Yeah, I think we might see Martin take the uh, the red that he's just promoted off the side cushion now. I don't think that was his original plan, but well, they're all there to attack now. I think the KG. Segment of this frame's gone, and this is uh, the chance that Martin has created for himself. Yeah, he's got a quite a, a fluent style, Martin. He doesn't, I think he naturally doesn't sort of hang about. Again, this format probably should suit his natural style of play. himself the wrong angle there really he wanted to be straight on this because he doesn't want to be he doesn't want to be high on the the red see now he's now he isn't going to be able to get too close to the black unless he takes it off three cushions which means well, it's going to be missable and it's, well, yeah, it's, and it's, it's just a it, lot straighter than he, he would have wanted yeah look when he had three reds left it was just a lapse of concentration he just needed to leave himself an angle great but, shot well, that's two fantastic blacks. Yeah, rescued well. Well played, Martin McIntosh. He strikes twice early and leads by two frames to nil. The legend.
I'll let you tell him that. I'm not no. sure Mick's enjoying this too much, is he? I don't think he is. He's, he's, not, he's not been allowed to get going at all, and he's already halfway through the match. Yeah, and that's the thing. 15 minutes is close coming, and we go down to that 15-second shot clock, and he's um, yet to get a frame on the board. Big second favourite in this match now. Martin's in first, and I think these reds all go. Yeah, already looking a really good bet, Martin McIntosh, to become only the second seed to make it through today to the quarterfinals. 17-year-old Keen Monaghan is the other. And awaiting the winner of this in the quarterfinals will be well, the winner of our next match. Looking forward to watching Jordan Shepherd against Kyle Brown. Again, don't know a great deal about Kyle. I, uh, he's a big guy, Kyle. Well over six foot. Uh, plays a few money matches. I think he's uh, he's a decent stick. Well, well. Oh, what a result. <laughs> if that red goes on the left-hand side of the table, that's... Uh, it's a hell of a result for Martin McIntosh. He didn't have much choice. He had to trust the luck a little bit. You have to do it sometimes. You don't want to. I think um, that's really tight. The referee's going to earn his money there if he does. If he does try and land on it and play it. Well, he obviously thinks it goes. This looks tight to me. Oh, I think that was a foul. The yellow, wasn't he? That was a foul. No, that Not was that cool. was yellow. That was yellow first. Well, let's have another look at that. The yellow certainly moved, and the black's in, and the scoreboard says three frames to nil. To the naked eye, that looked tight. That looked very tight to me. I think that was yellow first, and we saw Martin. I mean, he can only, you know, he he he, he wasn't. Uh, <coughs> it's not his job to call that. To be fair to Martin, it's uh, it's the referees. But well, well, we'll try and have another look at that. That was the end result. Yeah, you see, Martin we hesitated, didn't he? After well, to be after. fair, Mick Mick didn't react. No, no, he didn't. And well, maybe it was the angle we had was deceptive. It was very tight, but I thought that might have just nick that yellow first. The yellow moves certainly. But there was no, well, the referee had a better view than us. There's no VAR in the shootout, I'm afraid. 3-0. <laughs> Thank heavens for that. Not happening, is it, for Mick Follin? Here we go. Here we go. See, for me, it, it, yeah, it, had, it had to have hit the yellow first because the red was slightly in front of the yellow. So... If he hits the red first, the yellow can't move because the white's going slightly the opposite Away direction. From. Yeah. Yeah, if that's a legal shot, how does how does the yellow move? Well. Fair play to Mick, he, he just stuck it, didn't he? Yeah, and look, it's not Martin's fault either. He's at the other end of the table. He's just got a, it was tight, obviously he thought it went. Um, it's not his job to call the shot. Well, I think this this is gonna get away from Mick very quickly, by the looks of it. Is, yeah, and it, yeah, it's not a take away from the fact that Martin's played a real solid match here. Oh yeah, I mean two brilliant blacks. Yeah, oh he's played he's played the shot of the day. Yeah. Um, possibly the shot of the town series really. Yeah. He'll be up there on the short list. Just a nicely controlled positional shot away from from four 0 now, and he's got that look about him, hasn't he, of a man that's three 0 up? He's got that relaxed. Yeah, he knows his opponent's wounded, and he's ready to pounce in the blink of an eye. Three becomes four. And Martin McIntosh is one away from his place in the quarterfinals. He 
he's given that a hell of a thump. A bit of a swagger about him now, Martin McIntosh. He's quickly down. Oh, he's gone reds and he's... Oh, he's even fluking him now. Oh, and it's not your day, Mick Folan. It is not your day. Martin has a nice shot. He's, he's played that deliberately to leave himself the double on the red into the middle. And he's just straightened up a little. Oh, he is human. Oh, what a horrible table to come to when you're 4-0 down. Look at this for a fluke. <laughs> Even the referee walked away shaking his head and laughing. Well, and the referee's disgusted, you know, it's a big fluke. <laughs> yeah. Reverse double. Nope. Well, there's a there's an element of giving up about the, the foul and play now. Yeah, I think this match is all but over. Uh, it would have been nice, to be fair, to, 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 I think, you know, see Mick get himself a frame on the board. Well, he is going to get another shot unless we see a three-ball plant involving the yellow here. I think we're probably going to see him try something. No, not this time. No, ultra-sensible, just tying the frame up and making Mick work for it. Seen before just how quickly these matches can turn around here. With a 60 second break oh, and finish. There's and definitely time, 10 and a half minutes. Yep. But there's nothing to suggest that he's Mick Fallen is going to reel off five in a row. Not so far. I'm not sure he's. Uh, I think his head might have gone as well. I, he was so annoyed with how, where he ended up there. Yeah. I don't well, think he really cared what happened. The problem is, he hasn't really got time to be playing safety shots either. Is this going to be red first? Might just see Martin push this towards the corner pocket. Yeah, that knuckle cushion first. Probably wasn't even playing the pot there. Just taking control. And this match is all but over. Well, he's down to seven seconds and he's not even settled on a shot. Yeah, I think he might have gone. Not a bad result, that though. <laughs> well, if that had gone in, we could all go home. <laughs> now, what have you got, Mick Folan? Can you get yourself a frame on the board? you do with that one remaining tricky yellow does he, well, he has gone behind he, it I tell you he has played that he's played to get in behind it it's a really oh. good effort from Mick well I was I was wondering how he was going to approach that skill he's shot maybe. The oh, oh wow oh, where does this one go then middle back next trick no. So that probably will be his last shot. A little bit of work to do here. How's he going to approach it? <laughs> well, I guess they all count. Great shot. Lovely shot from Martin McIntosh. And a bit of exhibition stuff here from Martin. Oh, wow, look at that. Absolutely. The second for the vibes it. Fully deserved. Really impressive performance that. From Martin McIntosh. He's absolutely done a job on Mick Folan and he books his place. Just the second seed to survive this round of 16, but Martin, Martin McIntosh is through to tonight's quarterfinals here at Savannah's in Whitefield, Manchester. And we will find out his opponent when we return after this break. <laughs> 